Hello, my dear. Welcome to Buenos Aires in Argentina. I'm so excited to be here today because this is my first time in all of Latin America, and I've heard Buenos Aires is the perfect city to start. It's a beautiful city with amazing food, the people are super friendly, and I'm so excited to take you with me on this journey. Are you ready? Let's go. It's our first day here, and of course, we have to stop for empanadas. Every single bakery and restaurant makes their empanadas in a slightly different way. So you can try them all, but to be honest, once I had my first one, I think I had enough. I'm more looking forward to the other amazing food, like the fresh fish that they use for ceviche, the local grown fruit and veggies. Like, look at these amazing peaches. Don't they look so yummy? We're staying in the heart of Pal Palermo and our Airbnb has this beautiful rooftop. I love picking up charcuterie from the local market and here we are sharing it with the friends we're traveling with during sunset. Hi, you look cozy. Tired. Yeah, we walked a lot today. We walk in the sun. We're walking through the San Telmo market and it is bustling out here and so lively. It's full of restaurants and shops and it is packed with people. This is the market that's most featured in all the travel guides and it's really quite an experience. The food here is amazing, so I would definitely come hungry. The best thing that we had was a choripan, which is an Argentinian sausage, chorizo, sliced in half and put into a sandwich. And here I asked for extra veggies and it's so good. If you come here, I would skip the empanadas and go straight for the choripan. I love this coffee shop because they make their own almond milk in-house and it is so good. It's super cost-effective and so much more sustainable. Of course, no trip to Buenos Aires is complete without a tango dance performance, and Dan and I have actually been studying tango for the last couple of weeks. It's one of our favorite partner dances to do together because it's pure leading and following. It doesn't have as much structure as salsa, which I love, but it really requires being connected and in tune with your partner in order to dance well together. Would this we be all, like one of the original so models from the early 1900s? Yeah, that, yeah model, model A. Like, oh, this is the model A. Yeah, it's a model A. Wow. We're going to a Boca Juniors game, which is one of the local teams here in Buenos Aires. As you know, Argentinians love their football. The intensity that people feel about certain teams just doesn't resonate with me. But since we're here, I'm quite curious to experience it. Our tour guide is giving us detailed instructions about how to get into the stadium and how to get through security. And it's starting to feel a little shady and I'm wondering if we're supposed to be here in the first place. We're here in Boca. We made it. The craziest soccer stadium in Argentina. The most organized, kind of shady experience we've ever had. Most organized shady. <laughs> but we eventually make it into the stadium and we might as well enjoy the game. It's 10 in the evening and we haven't had dinner yet. We discover our first plant-based restaurant in Buenos Aires and the food here is quite good. When I don't get enough fruits and veggies, I start to crave it, and this bootable is exactly what I need. We're at one of the most famous steakhouses in Buenos Aires, and the best thing on the menu? Tomatoes. These are farm-grown and so flavorful. All their food is farm-to-table, and their veggies are so yummy. And yes, those are real tomatoes lining the walls of the dining room.
I don't usually drink coffee at home, but when I'm traveling, it does help me keep going. And I'm obsessed with the homemade almond milk. One of the things I love about Buenos Aires is all the beautiful parks. There's gotta be about a hundred of them throughout the city. It seems like the city put a lot of thought into making Buenos Aires a beautiful place to live. As you're walking through the city, you are literally surrounded by nature. Argentina was one of the wealthiest countries in the early 20th century, and it seems like they invested a lot of their resources into these parks. Very yeah, nice experience. Good taste of what it's like to live here. Yeah. We're on the search for another good ceviche restaurant. And guys, ceviche is one of my favorite foods of all time. I love it so much that I'm ordering this drink that is entirely ceviche juice that the fish have been marinating in. And let me tell you guys, when it's hot outside, this is so refreshing. After traveling together for 10 years, Dan and I have learned a lot about how we prefer to travel together. And that is taking our time wandering the city and just savoring all that there is to experience. We've just been honest with ourselves about how we enjoy traveling together and as a result, we enjoy our experiences so much more and it is also far more sustainable. Truffles and ice cream with a nice courtyard. This is awesome space, I love it. I love this home so much. The rooftop is especially gorgeous and I love meditating here every single morning. Let me know in the comments if you would like a house tour video. I have the footage, but I haven't decided if I'm gonna make it yet. I didn't know who Evita was, but when I learned that she was a beloved first lady in Argentina during the mid 20th century, I had to learn more about her life at the local museum. It's a very interesting exhibit about her childhood, her work, and how she came into power as a first lady. And the ending leaves a lot to be desired. It seems to be that they omitted some important information, and that's crazy to me. I definitely encourage you to do your own independent research into her life and her work. She was a very interesting woman. We discovered another amazing plant-based restaurant and the food here is good, guys. It looks simple and to me, this is the mark of real ingredients and it is so flavorful. We're in a museum and we're artists. <laughs> it's the same. I think, I think yours is fun. better. That was really fun. It looks better on camera, but I really like yours. It's more simple. Yeah. It's very simple. <laughs> We're walking through La Boca, this colorful neighborhood of Buenos Aires where the streets are lined with artists and street vendors. The colorfully painted buildings here feel a little contrived to me, but I can totally appreciate that it brings in a lot of tourists and puts money in the local economy. This neighborhood has a rich and complex history. 
It was one of the poorest neighborhoods in the 19th and 20th century, and it's also the birthplace of tango. I definitely recommend walking through this old port district where so many immigrants came through in the 19th and 20th century. Today, we stumbled across my favorite restaurant in all of Buenos Aires, and that is Yerba Buena. It's an organic and plant-based restaurant that has the most flavorful dishes. It also has a beautiful bakery and shop attached next door. And look at these pastries. The chocolate croissant is one of the best I've ever had. We're taking our time savoring this lunch and it's even more romantic with these talented musicians. <laughs> 